But first, they're the dog everybody wanted. So why are so many of them being surrendered now? The French Bulldog is the second most popular dog in America now, only behind the lab. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. Just in the past few months, more than 100 Frenchies have been surrendered to a rescue in Brevard County. News 6's Treasure Roberts has the story new at 11. Space Coast Frenchie Rescue needs your help. I'm averaging one surrender a day. Since last November, more than 150 dogs have been surrendered to the organization. So you all took in a lot of dogs, but it's my understanding that they did not come from Brevard County. Miami is probably one of the saddest situations I've ever seen. Yeah, and the West Coast. The organization founder, Ashley Peterson, says shelters across the state are full. They've even reached out asking her to take some of their dogs. Frenchies are popular, which poses the problem of overbreeding. Staff at the O'Galley Veterinary Hospital in Melbourne and Peterson's co-founder, Courtney Schilling, opened their homes to help. How many dogs do you have right now? Um, I have seven currently, yeah. At one point, I think she had 15. Taking in 15 dogs, it almost seems unheard of. Did yes. you ever see yourself having that many dogs? Um, I never saw myself cleaning my house that much. <laughs> but this is just a temporary solution. The goal is to get everyone adopted. Until then, they are in need of donations and fosters. This is the treatment area. An abundance of Frenchies isn't the only issue of overbreeding. These are all surrenders as part of the shelter. Um, most of them have medical issues. Associate veterinarian Jocelyn Brickett says for some, breeding Frenchies is a get rich quick scheme, but when done improperly, it can lead to genetic issues. Keller is a result of trying to breed the merle color. So they bred two merle dogs together, um, which leads to this kind of white syndrome. So he's blind and deaf due to them breeding those two colors together. We really need people to kind of stop doing that and leave it to the professionals. This is Gambit. Gambit has a medical condition and a lot of people would be hesitant to adopt a dog in a wheelchair. But we spoke to Gambit's foster mom who says his condition doesn't make him any less loving and loyal. He's just hard not to love. Jessica Bonnell has fostered Gambit for three months. She encourages others to step up to the plate and give these dogs the life they deserve. We all as humans want everybody to be perfect, but none of us are. Yeah. So <laughs> neither is poor Gambit, but he's perfect and unique in his own way. Oh, in Brevard County, Treasure Roberts getting results, new six. Some of them are real cuties. Your heart just goes out to them. But those breeders just got greedy. That they because did. Because they can make thousands and thousands of dollars. Very expensive I was dogs. One of the reasons they're so expensive, Matt, is because many of them, their heads are so large, they have to be born by C-section. So that's yeah. another surgery. Mm -hmm. And they, you have to pass that cost along to the people they're who want to like buy it. They're like the new English bulldog having yeah. all the same problems. Gambit was snoring while he was awake. <laughs> That thing was cute. Really cute. All right, learn more about how you can help right now by clicking on Treasure Story on clickorlando.com. We made it easy to find by putting it right there on the homepage.